Uh, welcome, Elisa. And our first question is going to come from your front row to your right. Hey, Elisa, Doug Farnberg, the AP. Congrats on getting drafted. Just what has this whole weekend and today been like for you? And what does it mean to be drafted by Seattle? Uh, thank you. You know, it's been a great weekend um, to hang around the people that um, were drafted tonight and spend some time in this city. And I'm excited to be drafted to Seattle. Um, I'm excited to get to work and look more, learn from some of the veterans over there. Uh, next question, also in the front row to your right. Hi there, Alex Azzi with NBC Sports and On Her Turf. Wondering just what your expectations were coming into tonight and how you feel about going to Seattle. Were they on your radar at all? Um, you know, I didn't really have many expectations for tonight. Um, I know the WNBA is a very tough league to get into um, with the roster spots. So, you know, I was just looking forward um, to hearing my name called, which um, I did. And I'm excited to go to Seattle. You know, I didn't have a specific team in mind that I wanted to go to. Um, so being picked up by Seattle is amazing. Follow up question also from the front row. Um, in terms of the WNBA roster spots, is when did you become aware of that? I've talked to some athletes where they kind of arrived at training camp and were like, well, I didn't realize how many spots you, there were compared to how many people are drafted. I mean, growing up, um, having a dream of being in the league, I think you kind of notice that, uh, you know, that there's only 144, you know, so I think knowing that going into tonight, um, I was just prepared for that. All right, we're gonna to turn to Zoom and we're gonna go in this order. We're gonna go JB, Jordan, Jonas, and Trayvon. JB, go ahead. Hey, Lisa, hey, Lisa JB Ricks here from Spectrum News One. Congratulations um, on, on getting to the NB, WNBA. Um, I got two questions for you. The first one is what experiences from NC State will you take with you to the next level the most? Like what will translate the best for you um, on the next level in the WNBA? Um, I think the versatility that I played with at NC State, um, being able to shoot the three, playing inside, but also just like my level-headedness and big moments and in big games, being able to perform at high levels against great people. And I think just being a team player, you know, NC State didn't always need me to be the leading scorer every single night. And so just doing what the team needs me to do night in and night out. And uh, if I can get a thought on uh, Kayla Jones also being selected just a few picks after you. I mean, how exciting is that for you uh, and the NC State program to have two players kind of go, you know, back to back in the second round like that and, you know, your excitement for your former teammate? Yeah, that's huge. Um, I didn't get to see any picks after mine. Um, so I'm very excited that KJ got chosen. She puts in so much work uh, and I'm so proud of everything she done. I really think she can make an impact at the WNBA level. Congratulations. Jordan, you are up and you'll be followed by Jonas. Hey, Elisa, congratulations, first of all. Um, I kind of wanted to talk about the quote on the inside of your jacket, the be still and know, and kind of you referenced God's plan. I know you dropped a little bit there to the second round, but do you feel like that is almost kind of fitting in God's plan that you get to go to a team like Seattle and, and play alongside some of the greats that you do? Yeah, of course. You know, his plan is greater than anything I could think of myself. Um, and so being able to go to Seattle and learn from the pros over there, um, I'm just very excited. And, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, next question will be from Jonas. Jonas should be followed by Trayvon. Hey, Lisa. Um, <laughs> Jordan actually asked my question, so I'm just going to say congratulations. And uh, what are you looking for to playing with, you know, those, those veterans and legends they have up there in Seattle? Uh, just being able to learn from them um, on the court, off the court, um, their work, work ethic um, and their experience in big games and championships. Uh, so I'm really just looking forward to soaking up as much as I can from them. All right, Trayvon, you are up and you're going to be followed by Lauren. Hey, Alyssa, Trayvon Miles, ABC 11 in Raleigh. Congratulations. Um, I just wanted to get your thoughts on uh, what Coach Westmore is building. Obviously, with you being drafted and, uh, and KJ right after you, um, you guys have to be really proud of uh, what the program is becoming. Yeah, um, I think Coach Moore has a great team over there and obviously being a part of that for four years. Um, he's a great coach, even better person. And I think if he continues just to bring good people to his program, that he's going to continue to see the success that he has. Okay, Lauren, you're up and you're going to be followed by Joe. Lauren, go ahead. Hi, Lisa. Lauren Walsh from WXII in Winston-Salem. Uh, so, you know, I have to ask you a little bit about the hometown here. 
what is it about Summerfield, your high school, the area you grew up that has contributed to your game and helped you get to this point? Uh, you know, I think being from a smaller town, um, I wasn't as looked at coming into college um, out of high school. And so I think just kind of being in the underdog in that situation and then making it to the collegiate level. Um, I have a lot of Summerfield in me and I'm just proud of that. And I think I can definitely take that to the next level. All right, we're going to go to Joe and Joe, you're going to be followed by Christos and then Brett. Hey, Elisa, this is Joe Serrero from the News and Record in Greensboro. Congratulations on uh, being drafted. I, I know your dad, Dan, was back home along with your dog, Bailey, tonight, and you shouted out to them. What does this mean to you and your family being drafted in the WNBA after all the hard work you put in, some injuries that you've overcome, and enjoying this night? Yeah, it's huge, you know. Um, my dad couldn't be here tonight, but I'm super thankful for his support, and I know he's proud at home and just my mom and brother to be able to be here. Um, you know, the reason why I love basketball so much is because it brings my family together. Um, and so I'm just really excited to continue playing um, at the next level for them. Thank you. Our next question will come from Christos. Christos, you'll be followed by Brett and Jordan. Hello, congratulations, first of all. Uh, how important for you is to be in a training camp and pick up the brands of uh, Sue, Brianna, and Jill, what, and what you would like to learn from them? Um, you know, just their games. You know, I grew up watching Brianna Stewart um, as I was younger and just her versatility, her able to shoot the ball outside and then also uh, mid-range inside post-game. So uh, just soak up as much as I can from her. Um, you know, she's gone so far and she's such a big player in the league. Um, just being able to be like that um, and learn from her and incorporate into my own game. All right, Brett, you're up. Brett, you're going to be followed by Jordan. Thank you very much. Hey, Lisa, could you go through what it was like uh, watching these picks come and, and being there and having to wait that long? And what's going what's going through your mind? And what was that like? What was that experience like? Uh, you know, every time a pick was chosen, I was just happy for the individual that was chosen. Um, you know, there's definitely some shifts that went on, but um, I was just very excited for every person that got chosen. And then when it finally came down to my name, uh, I was excited to just walk up to the stage. And as a quick follow-up, how surprised were you that you lasted as long as you did? Uh, I Like I said earlier, I didn't really have any expectations coming into tonight. Um, I was just hoping to hear my name called, which I did. So whenever I heard Commissioner say my name, uh, that was exciting for me. Thank you and good luck. Thank you. All right, Jordan, you're up and you'll be followed by Lauren. Yeah, Alisa, you are a Carolina girl. You know, you went to high school here. You went to college here. You're now about to go to experience a, a different coast, different part of the country. How excited are you just to kind of get to a different area, experience something kind of different than, than what you grew up around? Very excited. You know, I was at college an hour and a half from my house. Um, and so I'm very excited to travel across the country, just different culture, um, different people, and just kind of be independent. All right, uh, Lauren, you are up and you're going to be followed by Trevon. Alisa, is there anything maybe North Carolina or East Coast that you plan to bring over there that you think might be a little different to people in Seattle or some of your teammates? Um, I think myself, you know, uh, I have East Coast in me. I have a little bit of Carolina in me, so I'm just excited to bring my game over there. Um, it's something that they probably haven't experienced or even watched as much um, since we are on the East Coast in college. So I'm just excited to go over there, bring myself over there, and honestly, I look forward to the opportunities they have. All right, we're going to go to uh, Jonas. Jonas, go ahead. Alisa, we, we talked about, you know, you waiting in, in the green room. I'm sure it was a tense moment. Uh, uh, I'm sure it was a tense moment, but... Um, Coach Moore likes to keep keep it light and, and, and crack jokes. Was he keeping you relaxed and at, and at ease? And what were some of the things he was saying to you while, while you were waiting in the green room there? Yeah, um, you know, Coach Moore told me um, that when I was going to college, like some coaches that wanted me didn't get me. Um, some coaches that didn't offer me regretted that later. Um, so he said, I'm going to go wherever I go and uh, make whoever that didn't pick me jealous. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead, Joe. Joe, if you would go ahead, please. All right, I think Joe dropped off. We're going to go last question, Rafiq. This is Rafiq with nothing but that sports talk. Congratulations on getting drafted to the Seattle Storm. 
Thank you. Yeah, to pick up on that, you got talking to a team that's been loaded with history of championships. Like, what do you look to bring into a team that's led by a Sue Bird, Brianna Stewart, and a Drew Lloyd? Um, you know, I, I'm used to championships as well from the ACC. So I think just going up there and being able to learn um, from people that have gone all the way in the WNBA and what that takes and the grit it takes to make it throughout the whole entire playoffs and just the skill they have, the knowledge they have. And you know, I think I can bring um, some more skill to that team and just be able to expand it. And to piggyback on what you said about being used to becoming the champion during your days of college, I mean, you went as far as the Final Four, and that's the deepest NC State has ever made to a tournament in last in the most recent college basketball season. What can you tell me about the type of championship player that you developed to become going to the WNBA? Um, you know, I think you just realize that a championship is one game, you know, um, it's one in one loss and you're out. So just being able to perform every night. And if it's not your shooting night, then what are you going to do on the defensive end um, to make sure your team wins? And then also just staying level headed in the moment and not letting the moment be too big. Appreciate your insight. Enjoy your WBA career. Thank you. And one more question from the back left. Hi, Lisa. Congratulations. I'm Gigi Spirit, WFV Sports. We're coming off an unprecedented year last year with the WNBA viewership and then this year with March Madness viewership. How for you does it feel to be a woman in sport and be pioneering now in a professional professional career? Um, I love it. You know, I think we're in such a time of change right now and I'm excited that I get to bring my value um, to the league, not necessarily on the court, but off the court as well. And just being able to be a part of the organization that so many women have put their lives into building over the years and being able to be a part of that. Alisa, thank you. Thank you, guys.